Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss the another modal problem. So here, look at the problem. The problem is the impulse response of the system C of t equal e power minus 3t sine 4t. Okay. And find the following for the unit step input. So given is impulse response. So given the circuit is impulse response. What is meaning of impulse response generally? It is the system. It represents the system transfer function. It is nothing but the system transfer function. It represents. So for the system, if you apply the unit step input, so he is applying the unit step input. Unit step input is u of t and for the system. The given system is consisting of the exponential with the sine 40 and we have to analyze for this output C of t. How the output behaves we need to discuss here. Okay. Yeah. So to understand this easily, to understand this easily, uh, but here he already mentioned the system. Actually, he mentioned. Look at here. This is the system output C of t. That value is e power minus three sine forty. Okay we have a some transfer function he is given some transfer function also no problem with that okay so he is applied unit step to particular system that system is just analyze which system it is i think it is a second order system how we can tell that it's second order system so if you observe the c of t there so we have e power minus 3t is there e power minus 3t signal is like this it is exponentially decaying exponentially decaying like this and it is multiplied with sine 40 signal so here we have the another signal that is the sine 40 and sine 40 is like this sin 40 signal is like this so if you multiplying both these signals we will get finally we will get the signal like this how both positive and negative are exponentially decaying exponentially decaying so this is the positive maximum point this is the positive maximum point and this is the negative maximum point these two are but these two are exponential decay why it is multiplying with the, this signal so i will write like this i will write like this so then the signal is varies like this okay the signal is changes like this okay so this is the signal given signal so the given output signal is the second order under damped system so better to write here so it's look like second order system with under damped system with under damped under damped means it has the value of zeta that is between 0 and 1 between 0 and 1 here the given signal is compared with the general output signal so given signal is c of t equal to e power minus 3t sin 40 Compare this signal with the general signal that is C of t equal e power minus zeta omega n t sin omega d t plus phi. 
this is the general output signal if you are comparing the both you will get something here zeta omega n value equal to generally 3 whatever omega d omega d equal to 4 omega d equal to 4 so from this we will find out the time constant time constant time constant tau equal 1 by zeta omega n 1 by zeta omega n this is 1 by zeta omega n means 3 so we will get 0.33 second right and omega d equal 4 we know that these are useful to doing the all the calculations right so here he is asking to find out the settling time the second point settling time settling time we have three formulas so one is the phi tau for zero percent tolerance okay and the four tau for plus or minus two percent tolerance and the three tau for plus or minus five percent tolerance with different different tolerances we have different different formulas but he is not mentioned better to take 4 tau better to consider the 2 percent of tolerance so that's why the settling time is 4 tau 4 tau means 4 tau value is 0.33 so from this we can write 1.32 second 1.32 second okay the settling time is 1.32 second directly we know that so from this and we will anal analyze um, we can find out another things so for that purpose consider the point c or no need so no need to consider the points here we have e power minus 3t sin 4t is there sin 4t is there yeah and we should compare with e power minus zeta omega n sin omega dt plus phi so we have two systems c of t is given system C of T is our required system. So take separate these two. Better to separate these two. Yes. So here to for C of T we can write the poles for this C of T. For this C of T the poles is two poles. The first pole S1 equal to minus zeta omega n plus or minus j omega n root of 1 minus zeta square all poles are for the system s2 comma s1 s2 for plus s1 for minus so from this we can write poles for given c of t for e power minus 3t sin 4t poles are poles are so in place of zeta omega n we have this is a t zeta omega n we have the 3 so that's why pole is minus 3 plus or minus sin 4t so this is the another pole j omega n root of 1 minus zeta square that is the 4 we have the 3 plus r minus j 4 is the given for given poles for the given characteristic equation so from this we can find out we can find out zeta from here how so we will find out zeta no problem at all but what is omega n we will find out the omega n omega n will get by doing 
this minus 3 whole square plus 4 square so if you are doing under root for this do two things you will get omega th omega only how so for this zeta omega n square plus omega n root of 1 minus zeta square whole square so if you do the calculation you will get omega n only right so we will get omega n value 5 radian per second <coughs> 5 radian per second so better to draw poles in the s plane better to draw the poles in the s plane here take the first pole this is the minus 3 and the 4 we have two poles so this is the we will get one pole here yeah so this is the zero right we will take the angle between this and this we will take as phi this is the omega n yes so for we will find out zeta is equal to cos phi this is called phi okay this is called the phi by doing the cos applying the cos we will get the value so we will find out the 3 by 5 phi 0.6 times so zeta value equal to 0.6 zeta value equal to 0.6 so we will find out zeta zeta is nothing but the damping ratio so this is the settling time ts settling time yeah. so by using zeta we will find out phi value also so you know the cos phi equal to 0.6 from this we will find out phi value equal cos inverse of 0.6 so by doing the calculation we will get the phi value equal to 0.295 into phi into phi so we will get the phi value we will get the phi value also so we are already finding the omega n value omega n value and zeta value and phi value and settling time okay yes next we will find the delay time you know the delay time formula for second order system is 1 plus 0.7 zeta by omega n omega n so here 1 plus 0.7 you know the zeta value is 0.6 by omega n equal to 5 so we will find out the delay time value equal to 0.284 seconds 284 seconds the next is peak time the next is the peak time so this is for delay time equation delay time that is 0.284 second next peak time formula is phi by omega d so this is the phi by omega d value 4 radian per second then the peak time equal to 0.785 seconds 0.785 seconds so this is for the peak time 0.785 seconds and next we will find out the rise time so the formula for the rise time is phi minus angle phi by omega d or we can use the another formula that is phi in place of phi you can write cos square zeta by omega d so here this is the phi the phi equal 0.295 
5 by omega d is 4. So by doing the calculation we will get rise time value is 0 0.5537 seconds. This is for the rise time. We will find out the peak overshoot. The peak overshoot formula equal e power minus zeta n phi by root of 1 minus zeta square. Zeta square. So apply the, all the things n value 1 zeta value 0 0.6 into 5 by root of 1 minus 0.6 square. So by substituting all the things you will get peak overshoot percentage of peak overshoot value equal 9.5 percentage 9.5 percentage okay this is the problem this is the solution for the given problem i hope all of you understand this session thank you